dismissal in the interest of justice. Therefore, the defendant will be released today. As you can see here, he shows how he held the gun. And the judge let this go. My name is Rachel Bagley. My father, Ralph Gover, was murdered in an execution-style triple homicide in Rancho Mirage 29 years ago. And this is not just, you know, a failure to me. This is a failure to justice to everybody. Miss Bagley is clearly somebody who is suffering, and our empathy goes towards her. We believe that she is mistaken. I think it's a correct decision. It's a decision that uh, I understand the Attorney General's delay uh, in carefully investigating the case, this case and making the decisions based upon uh, an honest assessment of the strength of the evidence and the law that applies to it. Uh, it that, that's why it took the months that it took, I would assume, but again, I mean, we're, we're, we're simple defense lawyers. This case should have been prosecuted 25 years ago. That means today, with this amount of new evidence, it's that much stronger. This is an atrocious miscarriage of justice. There is no different evidence than on the date that there was filing. As a matter of fact, there is more evidence. And what you see here is the sure. downfall of the system sure. where we have uh, a prosecutor making a decision as to what happens in a case without ever informing the victim of what was going on, informing the defendant's family before <coughs> even the victim beef was able to know. I disagree with the decision to dismiss the case today. Are you still actively investigating this yes. case? Yes. I'm not going to stop seeking truth and justice. And this is not just about me at this point. This is about the other family members. This is about justice in general at this point. You can't just, you can't just have such a blatant lack of justice and expect the country to to just go with it. This this is completely wrong and in so many levels, not just for my own case, but for future cases and, and victims in general. Well, and also there's been a huge amount of inconsistencies from what Mr. Murphy says in court, what he says to the victim, Rachel, what he says to the detectives, what he says to different people. According to newspaper articles and press releases, there were two reasons for the dismissal in this case. And then according to hearing the hearing today in court, there was only one reason for the dismissal. Yet with various, in various other meetings, there were eight reasons for a dismissal. Missile. So everything keeps changing depending on who you're talking to, and without the judge allowing us to put forth the competent evidence to be able to show it, it allows the corruption to continue on, and that's what we saw in this case.